Welcome back to Tap Tuesday. This week we are tapping on the fear of failure when it comes to your goals. A few of my clients this week were actually struggling with this, so I thought you may be as well, and I couldn't think of a better way to clear this fear than EFT tapping. So if you've never tapped before, it is super simple. All you have to do is let me tap where you see me tap and repeat after me. This works with the energy meridian system in your body, very similar to what they do in acupuncture, but instead of using needles, we just lightly tap, and this helps calm down your amygdala in your brain, that little gland and responsible for fight, flight, or freeze. We're gonna help calm that down, because most likely, if you're experiencing this fear of failure and it's keeping you from working towards your goals, your amygdala might be going off a little bit. So we're gonna calm that down and I'm going to program some more empowering affirmations throughout this tapping. So to get started, all you need to do is take a deep breath in. Let it go. Another deep breath in. Let it go. And we are going to begin tapping on the karate shop point. Again, just repeat after me. Even though I'm afraid of failing at my goals, I deeply and completely love and accept myself. Even though this fear makes me procrastinate sometimes, I deeply and completely love and forgive myself. Even though I worry that these goals might never happen, I deeply and completely love and forgive myself. All this fear, maybe even some shame and guilt. I have such big goals for myself. I imagine a future so different than my current reality. And that's kind of scary. Making changes can be scary. I'm going after something with all of my energy and committing time and resources to it and then to possibly not have it happen feels really terrifying. All this fear, all this doubt. I've felt like this before. There have certainly been goals that I haven't reached before. And while that sucked, it also taught me some valuable lessons of how to do things better. Or maybe it gave me some clarity around what I really want. What if I didn't achieve those goals? because they weren't meant for me. Because something bigger and better was on the way. What if that rejection was actually protection? What if those obstacles were detours in the right direction? Yes, it still hurt in the moment, But looking back now on those failed goals, maybe they weren't really failures. Maybe it was just leading me to exactly where I was supposed to be. And the same will happen now. It's safe to go after my big goals. Because even if they don't happen, it's not a failure. 
I still learned something along the way, gained more clarity, and made some progress. Even if I didn't achieve those goals, I still experienced growth. So maybe that's what I should be focusing on instead. How can I grow into the person I want to become? What steps can I take today to bring me just a little bit closer? I don't need to have all of the answers. I don't have to have some master plan of how I'm gonna achieve it. I just have to take little steps towards it every single day. It's all adding up. It's all leading me in the right direction. And it's all happening for my highest good. Now that I'm starting to feel better about going after my goals, I truly love and accept myself. Now that I am more focused on growth, I truly love and accept myself. Now that I know that I cannot fail, I truly love and accept myself. And I know that the universe has my back. I know I am being divinely supported and guided. I wouldn't have been given these desires unless I was capable of achieving them. Or something even better. So I release this fear. I release this shame. And I know it's okay to do it if I'm a little bit scared. It's okay to take action even if I don't know the whole game plan. It's safe to go after my big dreams. It's safe to do it afraid. It's safe to achieve and receive all of my desires. Or something even better. And so it is. Okay, take a deep breath in. Let it go. One more time, deep breath in for me. And let it go. So how are you feeling now about going after your goals? Some of that fear and anxiety and maybe procrastination you've been feeling around taking action is gone. And you may have even had a few what I call inspired ideas while going through this tapping. Maybe you realize the next step you're supposed to take or you have an idea of what you could do now or maybe a person to call for more advice that's achieved this goal before you pop into your head. Whatever inspired action came through while we did this tapping, I want you to take it. And I want you to take it knowing it's okay to do it afraid. It's okay to do it even if you're not sure what the next step after it is. Like we said in the tapping, it's just these little baby steps. And as you take that action, you're gonna be guided to the next right thing, the next right person, the next right dream. It's all unfolding, but you have to take that first step. And I promise universe, God, source, whatever you believe in is right there with you, here to support and guide you on your way. If you would like more work on releasing this fear of failure and going after your goals, I highly recommend checking out Spiritual Kick in the Ass. 
It is a 90 minute intensive tough love call where we are going to get super clear on what your goals actually are, do more EFT tapping around any limiting beliefs you have around achieving them. And then I'm gonna teach you how to listen to your intuition and create an aligned action plan so you know what to do and how to tap back in to your intuition to know what the next step is after that. So if that sounds like something you need, check out the link in the description below and I'll see you next week for another Tap Tuesday.